Some people think you should swing your arms back in the golf swing. They teach you to just take your arms and swing them over the shoulder. They believe it's a swinging motion with your arms. Some just talk about rotating your arms around the body. Your arms pull around the body. In fact, neither of those are true because the reality is you can't swing your arms in the golf swing at all. You don't swing your arms in the golf swing. Now, what is swinging your arms? Well, this motion is swinging the arms. I am swinging my left arm now. It is acting like a pendulum with a hub at my shoulder. That is an arm swing. When I took, put two hands on it, what happens? Notice how quiet my body is when I'm swinging my arms. I put two hands on it, and all, all of a sudden, my body has to get very active. Why is that? It's because, and I know some of you aren't going to believe this, but it's true, both of my arms remain attached to my shoulder through the entire golf swing. It's true. They do. I know some of you are going to say, no, they don't. They come off so I can swing the arms. No, they don't. And because you've got two hands on the club, your arms, shoulders, and hands attached to the club form this triangle. And this triangle is a pretty stiff uh, assembly. You cannot swing it. You can turn your shoulders and get some movement, but you cannot swing your arms. The most movement I can get from my arms is this little bit when I try to swing them, and that's really due to some looseness in my shoulders. You cannot swing your arms around your body. So how do you get your club back up to the back swing position? You make this motion. You take your trail arm or your right arm and you bend it. Now this is your top of the back swing position. Your arm is right in front of your chest. And it, they hadn't done anything except your trail arm has bent. You are not swinging your arms back around. You're rotating your body and then folding your arms due to the momentum. I rotate, the momentum makes my right arm fold, but it's that position. Now I can get to that position without rotating, just folding my arms. Notice there's no swinging going on here. No swinging of my arms, it's just arm folding. I rotate back hard, it gets to that position. You cannot swing your arms in the backswing, and you do not get to your top of the backswing position by swinging your arms or slinging them over your shoulder. You get to the top of that position by just folding your right arm. Literally, that's all there is to it. You fold your right arm. When you do your rotation, when you rotate your body, your momentum causes that right arm to fold. So I'm going to rotate my core, rotate my shoulders, and the arms fold. Now I'm doing this standing up because when you take the angles out of this, it becomes obvious what's going on. When you try this down in a golf stance, uh, it gets real confusing real quick what's happening with your arms. So that's why I urge you to do this standing up. Try this experiment. Look at your arms and put them in your top of the backswing position. And really look at them and see what they're doing. You'll see it's impossible to swing your arms when you've got both hands on the club. I've got one drill that's a challenge where you put your wall, your shoulders against a wall and you attempt to swing your arms and it's, you'll find it's physically impossible. As long as your shoulders, or you're making this triangle with your shoulder arms and hands, you cannot swing these arms. There's just not the movement there. And you've got to maintain this triangle. This is one of the most important parts in golf, is maintaining this triangle. You come up here, you still maintain the triangle. Come down here, come to the here, you still maintain the triangle. You maintain the triangle through your entire golf swing. 
But again, this is swinging the arm. You can only do it with one hand on the club. Notice my body is not rotating. My body is very quiet. You put two hands on the club and establish that triangle. Well, you've got to maintain that triangle. And the only way to do that is to rotate your arms. Try this. Try swinging your arms and then put two hands on the club, but don't rotate your shoulders. Try this. Start swinging your ar arm with one hand and then put two hands on the club, but don't rotate your shoulders and see what happens. Watch your arms and see what happens. What happened? The arm folded. They didn't swing. It folded. And it folds in the back swing. You don't swing your arms in the golf swing. And you certainly don't swing them in the back swing. To get to your top of the back swing position, you rotate your body and fold your arms. You fold your trail arm. That's all there is to it. Just rotate your body. Fold the trail arm. It's really that simple. It is a simple move. People make it really complicated. Once you break all these angles, get them out of the way, it is a simple move to get your arm in the right position at the top of the backswing. Just fold as you turn. It's simple. It really is a simple move.